Hi, I'm George Poveromo, host of George Poveromo's World of Saltwater Fishing on national television. Kite fishing with live baits has been a passion of mine for as long as I can remember for sailfish off the South Florida coast. Kite fishing is a deadly effective tactic because it enables you to present the bait to a fish in a totally different fashion when you're drifting live baits or even slow trolling them. From the kite, you have your 65 pound test braid kite line. 65 feet down from the kite, you have your first release clip, which has a slightly larger bore. Beyond that, you're going to cut the kite line and tie it together with a small barrel swivel. That's large enough for two of these clips to pass through, but it'll stop this first one. You go another 60 feet down, you cut the line and put the two together with a slightly larger barrel swivel, which will stop the next smallest diameter clip, but let the one with the larger bore pass over that. Another 60 feet beyond that, you cut the line and attach it with a larger barrel swivel, which will stop the kite clip with the largest bore. So if you could imagine the kite up there, 60 feet back, you have your far release clip. 60 feet beyond that, closer to the boat, you have your middle kite bait. And 60 feet beyond that, you have your short kite bait. And you could position these baits as far away or as close as you like by the amount of line you let on the actual fishing kite itself. So you have three live baits staggered roughly 60 feet apart, makes for a very intriguing spread. Once in position, you attach your fishing lines to your live baits and the release clips. The baits will ride directly underneath the respective release clip, and the trick is to keep the bait fish at the water surface to where their back is exposed, but yet their gills are down under the water where they can breathe. By keeping the backs exposed, they frantically kick around at the surface. They send out distress vibrations that toll in sailfish, kingfish, and a variety of other game fish. It's the most exciting thing because you can see a sailfish or a kingfish come right up on the kite bait, eat it. Then you wind tight. The line falls from the release clip. It's just you and the fish on your rod and reel. Game fish is just tearing it all up. Plus you have two, three other baits still in play off the fishing kite in case a second or third sailfish comes in. Kite fishing has been stereotyped as a South Florida sailfish tool. Truth is, it's way effective for a variety of species ranging from king mackerel, striped bass, tarpon, mahi, tuna, wahoo, and the list goes on. Take time to learn how to fly a kite and present your live baits in a totally different fashion. Over the course of the season, you're gonna see your catch rates absolutely soar.